as we progress through this chapter, we are going to be extending our definition of aromatic molecules to extend beyond just benzene derivatives and encompass a variety of other structures as well. As we extend that definition of aromaticity, we are going to come across a large number of molecules that we would describe as aromatic heterocycles. In this video, we're going to focus how to go about naming those types of molecules. And then when we get later on in the chapter, we're going to be describing and analyzing why we would classify those molecules as being aromatic. What are special things related to aromaticity? So when we refer to the term heterocycle in general, what we are referring to is the fact that we have a ring with some non-carbon atom within the ring. And generally that non-carbon atom is either an oxygen atom or a nitrogen atom. And so based on looking at common aromatic heterocycles, the ones that you should be familiar with are provided to you on the handout for nomenclature in chapter 16. So you'll want to go onto Canvas and download this handout if you haven't already. It's available in the module for chapter 16. And this will give you the lowdown on exactly what aromatic heterocycles you need to be familiar with and able to recognize when you're reading through literature or when you are doing a quiz or things like that. So let's take a look at this handout. So within this handout, we are going to zoom in to this middle region of the handout here. I'm going to enlarge just that portion of the handout here where we focus on aromatic heterocycles. And the aromatic heterocycles that we list here are the ones that we are most commonly going to come upon during this class. We classify these all as aromatic heterocycles because they all have a ring system that has some level of conjugation going on within the ring. You'll notice that is a, going to be found to be a common feature of aromatic molecules. And like I said, we'll get into more details about how to classify these as being aromatic molecules later on in this chapter. But for now, you need to be familiar with these names, such as pyridine, pyrimidine, pyrrol, imidazole, furan, and indole. These are all representative, common, heterocyclic aromatic compounds. Some of these structures are very biologically relevant. For example, the building blocks of DNA are derived from pyrimidine, this aromatic molecule here. A variety of other biological molecules such as the amino acid tryptophan are constructed from these types of compounds as well, where the indole group is one of the substituents found within the amino acid tryptophan. The indole molecule itself is also interesting because it has a dark blue color and was originally used as a dye. That's what's referred to as indole, as a dark blue sort of purple-like color that can be observed for it. So you should be familiar with and able to recognize based on the name or based on the structure, pyridine, pyrrole, furan, indole, imidazole, and pyrimidine. As we go through the rest of the chapter, we are going to be discussing why each of these structures that are very common in chemical systems and biological systems meets the criteria for being described as an aromatic compound. And it's just a little spoiler alert. It is not because these compounds have a strong odor that causes them to be described as aromatic compounds. It's due to the specific structural features within the molecule. It has nothing to do with the smell of the compound whatsoever. The only reason why these structures are called aromatic is because the very first few examples of compounds that fit this criteria did have a strong odor. But since then, a huge variety of compounds that do not have strong odors have been discovered and are described as aromatic. So aromatic is going to be a term that we use to describe chemical features of these molecules, not um, properties such as odor. And this, by the way, is an exhaustive and complete list of the aromatic heterocycle names that I expect you to know for purposes of this class. Any aromatic heterocycle that I expect you to be able to determine the name of will exactly match one of the six structures on here. There are a variety of other more advanced aromatic heterocycles out there, but these are the ones you need to know for this class.